Hey guys, Tech Dude 731 here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Corsair Hydro Series H60. The Corsair H60 is a mid range, single 120mm CPU liquid cooler, which is advertised to be quieter and have better cooling performance than a stock CPU cooler, in this case, an Intel one on a 3770K advertised on the back of the box. This should not come as a surprise to anyone since stock coolers are meant to be there just for functionality and not really have much thought into put into noise and performance as long as it keeps the CPU from overheating and basically just lets you use your PC. Inside the box you'll find the cooler, that is the radiator and the CPU block, as well as a single 120mm fan and all of the mounting hardware for various platforms. While only one fan is included, it can be set up with two fans for a push-pull configuration. Mounting the radiator is fairly straightforward. Line up the radiator and fan holes and insert the long screws which are included through your case and into the fan and radiator. Installation of the CPU block will vary by your socket. In this case, it was installed on an AMD system with an AM3 Plus socket and mounting for AMD is the same across all sockets regardless if it's an FM or an AM series. However, on Intel, mounting the CPU block is slightly different and it does involve swapping the back plate and if you are on 2011 using different size screws. This leads me to my first complaint about the cooler. Uh, the mounting hardware for AMD seems subpar to me. To mount on AMD you use two small clips which attach to the stock mounting bracket on the motherboard, the same mounting bracket the stock heatsink uses. And while this is nice since you don't have to access the back of your board to change the back plate, this design seemed a little bit flimsy to me, and while it works just fine, I definitely would have preferred a sturdier seaming mount and maybe one with a bit more thought put into it, since it can be kind of difficult to screw those in and know that your CPU block is on tightly. Once everything was mounted, I decided to do some testing to see how this cooler compares to the AMD stock cooler and a mid-range air cooler, in my case, a Cooler Master Hyper 212 which is quite highly recommended. All of these tests were done on an AMD FX8350 at the stock clock speed of 4 GHz with an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. I should also mention that the thermal paste used was Arctic Cooling MX4 and for stressing the CPU Prime95 was used. In this case only one intake fan was used and the radiator was set up as an exhaust. So your results may vary in your case, depending on fan configuration in your case, you may get slightly lower temp. Firstly, we have the stock cooler, which at idle produced temperature of 45 degrees, under load a temperature of 69 degrees, and under load with the GPU stressed as well, using MSI combustor, as previously mentioned, a temperature of 78 degrees, which is higher than the rated max socket temp for this processor. Second, we have the Hyper 212 with idle temps of around 41 degrees Celsius and load temps of 62 degrees. With the GPU, the temperature rose to roughly 70 degrees, which is 8 degrees cooler than the stock uh, cooler, and it is also under the thermal recommended limit for the CPU of 72 degrees. Now for the H60, we saw a temperature of 33 degrees at idle, 50 degrees under load, and only 53 degrees with the GPU running. This clearly shows that the Corsair H60 performs quite well, keeping the CPU, which is notorious for running hot, under control. Also, you can see that this cooler is much less dependent on the temperature of the air inside the case, even though it was set up an as an exhaust against um, a Corsair's recommendation, since when running the GPU there is only a slight temperature increase when compared to running it on air. My last minor complaint about the H60 is that the included 120mm fan is slightly louder than I would have preferred, and while it is definitely not loud by any means, and I realize it can be very easily replaced with a different one, it would have been nice to have a little bit quieter fan included. In conclusion, I can say that the Corsair H60 is quite a decent cooler and does perform quite well, especially for the money. Its relatively small form factor also means it can fit into most cases with a 120mm fan mount to allow for CPU water cooling regardless of what case you really have. I would recommend this cooler if you are going to be thinking about overclocking your CPU as it should do a fairly good job in lower to mid overclocks. 
Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below, leave a comment if you have one, and subscribe for more videos.